Hey, Alex. Good night. How are you, sir? I'm so happy that you are here, Alex. I'm so happy about it. Hey, Jesse. How are you, girl? <clears throat> Hi, Jesse. Jesse, good night, Jesse. How are you? Fine, teacher. Fine. It's really hard. nice to see you. Woo. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I thought, okay, they thought that tom tomorrow was a vacation. They thought today is going to be a vacation too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> How was your vacation? Was it good? Mama. Was it good, Jesse? Your vacation? Um, I sleep. You all slept. Day. You slept all day. Oh my God. Great. I'm so happy that you had a vacation yesterday. I, I was working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have uh, Salvador, Salvador vacations, but uh, every, uh, most of the people rest, right? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. So you spend your time with your family, Jesse, and your baby. Yes. That's good. That's good. Yeah, if you if you want to relax, that's awesome. That's good. Only one day, right? Uh, it today was really weird, right? Because September 15th is it was Tuesday, no, Wednesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. weird that, that the vacation is in the middle of the week, right? Yeah. Yeah. I today, and, yes. Today was uh Monday. <laughs> today was Monday for you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It, it's, it's some some years, I think some years, but I don't remember it was last year or two years ago that September 15th was on Friday. But can you imagine Friday, Saturday, Sunday, ooh, three days off consecutive mm. months? Oof. I work Saturday. You work on Saturday? Oh. Yes. So which is your day off? Yes. ¿Cuál es tu día libre? Which is your day off? Uh, Sunday and mm -hmm. la tarde del sábado. Oh, Sunday and um, Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you work from Monday until Saturday morning. Ah. Yes. So you only have one day and a half, right? Un día y medio mm -hmm. libre, one day and a half off. Mm -hmm. Where do you work, Jesse? And the agri. Yeah, I agree. What is that about? Yeah. ¿Qué se trata? Uh, uh, it's a company of... Uh, ¿Una importadora? ¿No se diría? Ah, really? ¿Importadora de qué? De agroquímicos. Oh, agroquímicos export and import. Oh. Import. Ah, no, import. That's really interesting. And what is it located? ¿Dónde está ubicada? What is it located? Lourdes. Lourdes Cologne? Yes. Oh, so it's far away. But you live uh, near, right? Vives cerca, no? Sí. That's good. That's good. So your baby was happy because yesterday mommy was at home. Yay. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm so happy. And what about today? Was it raining where you live? Estaba lloviendo donde vivís? Yeah? Mm, no? No. No. no? Really, in my case here, it was it has been raining well almost the entire afternoon, you know. No. Yeah, and it was really hard for me to work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because when it's raining, you just want to be on bed, right? Sleeping <laughs> and just like that. But you know what? I um today I wanted a hot chocolate with bread. Quería cocoa, uh, bueno, chocolate caliente con pan. 
I prefer coffee. Coffee? No, I mean, yo también. I, I do so I also because I love coffee by heart. Mm -hmm. But today, I don't know, I want a chocolate, hot chocolate. Tengo días de no tomar chocolate caliente, pero chocolate de aquí. Porque eh, cocoa es diferente. Ajá, casero. Ajá. Yes, and my husband went to the supermarket and he bought uh, <laughs> chocolates, but they come in a, in a bag like this. And they are mm -hmm. huge. They are like this. So he prepared chocolate for me. Oh, it was really good. I, I had been like a really long time without drinking chocolate. Tengo más de mucho tiempo no tomar chocolate. Like that. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Why not, Jesse? Um, because? Me da migraña. Oh. That's a good reason. <laughs> sí, es una buena razón, te da migraña, of course. You have to avoid it. Tienes que evitarlo, right? Of course. But coffee, no, right? Mm, very good. Nos gusta mucho las comidas, que estamos hablando de comidas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tenemos a Alex que está aquí. Ahorita está un poquito enfermito, pero aquí está con nosotros, fíjate. Vamos a ver, aquí está Rocío. Rocío Iglesias, where have you been? Tenía días de no saber de ti. Qué bien, yay. Yeah. We have another girl. Hey, today is going to be only girls night. No, it's not. Nelsie, Nelsie. Nelsie, hi, girl. How are you? Y está con... Rocío, ¿cómo tú estás? Hi, Nelsie. Rocío, ¿cómo te vas? Bien, bien. Very really? nice. Very nice. Where have you been? ¿Dónde has estado? <laughs> have you been working? ¿Has estado trabajando? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'm so happy that you're here. Yay. Can we see your face or no? No podemos ver tu carita ahorita. Oh, es un completo desastre. No mentiras. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so, so happy. Only Alex. Alex is blessed right now. Between girls. Ooh. We have Dina. Dina is coming. Hi, Nelsie. How are you, girl? Hi, how are you? Pretty good. We were uh, talking with Jesse about yesterday's vacation. How was your vacation? Uh, it was good because I was cleaning my house all day. Oh, okay. So you did a, a house chore. Hi, Dinita. Yes. Really? Oh, my God. Yes, I was washing my, my best clothes. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of work. And cleaning my house, the, the refrigerator, Ooh. cleaning the cook, the, the kitchen, yes, the, cook, the kitchen, yes. Oh yes. my God! So basically, I, yesterday was a house chores activities. Yes. How chores are how chores, guys? How chores is cuando tú haces las cosas de la casa. How chores. O las tareas domésticas, si tú quieres verlo así. Mm -hmm. Y eso incluye todo lo que haces para cuidar tu casa. Cleaning, cooking, washing, airing your clothes, etc. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando tú dices house chores, nosotros ya sabemos que es todo lo referente a la casa. Can you spell the, the word? Yes, of course. H-O-U. House. S E uh shores uh shores s h o r t mm -hmm. how shores mm. okay so that was very good okay. how shores is related to everything that we do at home everything that includes yeah. iron washing cooking etc we have <laughs> also yeah Novi, where have you been we want to see your beautiful face today as well Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I like your back. Hey, what happened? You used to have like stickers on your wall. What happened with it? <laughs> Son los horarios de clases de los niños. <laughs> oh, are your kids scheduled? Yes. Uh, okay. But you know Virtual. what? Virtual schedule. But you know what? It looks really nice, yes. actually. I like it. Yes. I really like it. I was like, okay. That was a really good idea. You should put them back. <laughs> That's awesome. So we only have girls except for Alex. But Alex right now is here. He's a little bit sick, but he's okay right now. He's happy to, to join in today's class. Okay, guys, let me ask you something. Yesterday, the last class, that means on Tuesday, because yesterday you were on vacation. Woohoo, right? Very good for you. Yes. 
Uh, do you remember that we saw yesterday that, that we, we learned how to use simple past and present perfect? Do you remember that? Yes. yes. May I ask you, when do we use the simple past? Just to, to recap a little bit, the mm -hmm. review. When the action is finished in the past. Mm -hmm. And how it started in the past already or no? Yes, not yes. in the past. Very good, exactly, very good. And could you also let me know guys, when do we use the present perfect? The action for the present perfect, it starts in the present or it starts in the past? Mm -hmm. Start in the past. In the past and continues mm -hmm. a little in bit the in the present. Very good, exactly. Hey, and do you remember that we have two, uh, well, one main verb to use or auxiliary that we use for present perfect? Ever. Uh, it's have. Right. Have. Oh, have. Have. How yeah. for I, you, we, you, day and has mm -hmm. for his shit. Right? Mm -hmm. And after that, what do we use? The past of the verse or the past participle of the verse? Participle. Past participle. Very good. Past participle. For example, participle. what is the past participle, girls, of B? Of B. Go. No, no, that no, the past participle of B or bird to B. Go. Mm -mm. That is the past, that is the past of go. When, uh -huh. go when gone, very good. Go, but what? Gone. Uh -huh. But what is the past participle of be? The past of be is was uh, where. Yeah. And the past participle been, very good. Been, been exactly. And also, girls, do you remember that when we formulate a question in present perfect, most of the time we use the word ever. Have you ever? And then you continue with the. Uh, the question for example let me ask you something and i want your opinion right let me ask you something really interesting <laughs> i have a really interesting questions for you guys today yeah. we're going to talk about that and we're going to put a practice um let me ask you something uh-huh uh, i think this this answer is going to be yes but i'm just need to ask you that have you ever drunk that's a past participle of drink right have you ever drunk fresh coconut juice? Do you understand my question? Yes. Yes, yes I have. Yes, you have? And did you like yes, it? Yes, I drank. Yes. Yes? Yes, I like it. What about you, Dinita? Yes, I like it too. You like it too? Oh, yeah. all right. And how many times have you ever, have you drunk um, coconut juice? Agüita de coco. No, how I many was... times? Oh. How many times? Uh -huh. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot count. But do you remember what was the first time that you tried it? I, I drank uh, uh, the past uh, Sunday. The past Sunday? Oh, that's nice. You know what? I love to drunk a uh, coconut, fresh coconut juice. I love it. However, uh, I think Jesse, Jesse was telling me at the beginning of the class before you enjoy, you joined today's class, girls, that uh, I love um hot chocolate, but she doesn't because it provokes her migraine problems. So in my case, I love fresh coconut juice. It's delicious, but in my case, I cannot drink it. You know. Because Why? Yeah, Why? because uh, the next day I have a sore throat problems. Oh. Yes, and to be honest with you, being as a teacher, I cannot have that. I cannot get sick of my sore on my throat, right? Because basically that's my interest, instrument of work, so I cannot. Well, first of all, my regular job requires me that I have to speak a lot, and uh, having you guys at night. I cannot have a sore throat problems. So it, you know what? And I th and I thought the first time that happens to me, I thought that it was because uh, I drank fresh, cold coconut juice. So I thought, ah, it's because it was cold, right? So next time, 
I try to like a uh, normal temperature, right? Like just uh, ask to uh, to get some coconut juice right away and drink it. And that was really good. And it was really good. But you know what? The same happens to me. So that means that I cannot drink a uh, fresh coconut juice no matter what. And I love it. But this is what we do. My husband uh, drunk, drinks the fresh coconut juice. And in my case, I eat the meat, the coconut. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, because it's really good. Yes. Yeah. My, my husband loves mm -hmm. coconut. Really? Mm, it's really nice. I like it, too. And you know yeah. what? You can also use the coconut and the juice to prepare a lot of delicious dishes. Oof. Yes. Especially with seafood <laughs> goes really yeah. good. Really good. So, girl, you already ha you already have a drunk fresh coconut juice. That's great. Yes, here in El Salvador we have a lot, right? There's another countries that uh, it is not common and it is really expensive. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. a lot. So we are lucky to live in a tropical country. I can let you know that. But let me ask you something. Now let me ask you another question. Have you ever been? Physically, right? Have you ever been to a vegetarian restaurant? Have you ever no. been to a vegetarian no, restaurant? I haven't. No, you no, haven't? I haven't. You haven't? No, no, no. Yeah. Carlitos, welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to the class. We were we are discussing eh, Carlitos about questions. Good evening, about, uh, yes, good, good good evening. Questions about with present perfect. And I have asked the girls is is if uh, have they ever been to a vegetarian restaurant? And they said that no, they have never visited a vegetarian restaurant. What about you? Have you uh, ever been to a well, vegetarian restaurant? When I studied, studied university, I, I, how to say, I, I did uh, eat you in visited a restaurant. Them? Yes. Oh, and did you yes. like it? Yes, very good. Oh, but it's, it was when you were uh, when you were in university, like oof, long time yes, ago. Yes, uh, the Taos is the name. The Tao. Tao. Inside, yes. Uh, delicious. Uh -huh. By the by the Puerro um, brand, uh, integral brand. Mm -hmm. um, uh, beef and soy. All soy. Soy. Yeah, soy. Soy, Ooh. yes. Delicious. Delicious, in, yeah. Yes, and it's healthy, yeah. right? And healthy. Very healthy. So, yes. and, and let me ask you, Carlitos, uh, is uh, that vegetarian restaurant that you visit, is it still here in El Salvador or has been disappeared? For me, it's just, well, it's... No, is it still here? Still here in El Salvador. Uh-huh. Or you uh -huh. don't know for sure? I don't know, yes. Mm, yes, because know. it was a long time ago, right? And you said, it, yes. it, was it near the university or no? It's, uh, it's uh, about uh, La 25, where are the requests, Carl? Ah, yes, 25th. 25th, 25th Avenue. Yes, ah. 25th Avenue. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think there is no anymore. I don't think so. Ahora, ahora, I, I haven't seen I any. Know, no, it's, yeah, yes. but, uh, yeah, I haven't seen any restaurant nearby. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. But but it's, it's the first and the last time that you visit a vegetarian restaurant. Only one time? Only one time. Wow. Okay. Now, but, but you see, Mr. Uh, Mr. Carlitos Polanco visited a vegetarian restaurant. So uh, I I yeah. wish I wish here in El Salvador there were more vegetarian restaurants because they're really delicious ones. But let, now let me ask you another question, girls and guys and guys. Have you ever had, listen carefully, have you ever had an unusual ice cream flavor? Have you ever had, remember, right? The had is a past participle of have, right? Have you ever had an unusual ice cream flavor? ¿Alguna vez han probado un sabor de sorbete inusual? Have you ever had? Maybe I have. Mango. Oh, oh, paleta. Paleta, sorbete, any unusual flavor? Un sabor inusual? Have you ever? Mango no. con chile. Ah, uh, yes. That's Cheesecake. really good. Cheesecake, guys. Cheesecake. Really? Yeah. Really? It's no. a lollipop. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, no. But I'm talking about ice cream. 
Oh, no, ice cream no. Ice pues, cream no. De, you mean dice, candies. How do you say no? Paleta helada. Ah. And oh. the cheesecake. Is it, oh, really? Paleta yeah. helada. Yeah. Ah, well, you can also say ice cream. Really? No. Yeah. Where? Sí. Um, es una de Santa Tecla. Es bien... Ay, ¿cómo es que Chupaletas no, chupeletas no. No, 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 no. I don't know. Hay otras, hay otras. Pero bueno, eh, son buenísimas. Really? Paleta. That's amazing. Yeah. Ah, like, a, oh my God. But there, are they Mexican ones or no? Yeah, it's Mexican. Ah, yes. Esa, esa. Michoacana. Michoacana. Oh, really? They yeah. have, they yeah. have that flavor. They have it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, my, uh... Is que, oh, y more. And Dinita, it, 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 does it taste like cheesecake? Sabe como cheesecake? Does it taste yeah. like cheesecake? Yes. Really? Wow. Yeah. With it's strawberry. Great. Strawberry. Strawberry. Oh my God. I have tried mojito one. Oh, okay. Mojito. Mm. And what is the other one? Ay, what is the other one? With I run. Guess. With run. Uh huh. But it, that is, but there's a name. Chocolate with run. Oh, that's, mm. that's really nice. What is the other one? Uh, lemonade with yerba buena. I like that as well. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what. One. Ah, no. No, this one it was not a paleta. This one was an ice cream. I remember, guys, I, I studied. Como nieves. Uh -huh, I studied um, at the UCA. Mm -hmm. Like long time ago. And leave it like that way, okay? Ahí, ahí que <laughs> leave it like that way. And I remember that it used to be a Pops there. Now it's Boston, mm -hmm. right? Now uh, the name are Boston's, mm -hmm. but it used to be a pop, a, a pop um, ice cream gallery or restaurant that they they sell tuna, tuna ice cream. Mm -hmm. But 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 I don't mean tuna fish. No tuna. No. Remember yeah, that. Yeah. Remember no that nopal. No. Yeah, remember nopal. nopal? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Remember that li the the little red thing or product of the nopal? Yeah. That yeah. was tuna. Yeah. The fruit, mm -hmm. exactly. So the, it was an ice cream pre prepared based on that fruit of nopal. And I was like, are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the girl teased it. It's really cool. Well, I tried it. It was delicious. But I only tried once because the next time it was not there anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's a flavor that we're not used to it. But you know what? It's really, really sweet. And it's really healthy. The tuna is really oh. healthy. But here in El Salvador, we are not used to prepare it. But in Mexico, hmm, they know, eat it Mexico a lot. They eat it a lot. Like, like it would, uh, like it would drink, with for example, the... tequila. Yes. Con el gusano. <laughs> ah, no, no. Mezcal. 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 Yes, es rico el gusanito. Mm. <laughs> yes, in Mexico there is a Never paleta, tried. but but no cold ones. It's like candy, mm -hmm. a base of mezcal, and in the middle you have the sword, el, el, el gusanito, the sword, yeah. and it's really good. <laughs> but todos modos tiene el sabor del mezcal. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Poor. <laughs> no, ya está más para ya que ya está más mareado que se ve. Alcoholizado. Right? Yes, yeah, so like, no, y sabe de lo que pasa con eso que lo es como que lo curte, right? Porque el alcohol mm -hmm. hace eso, ¿no? And it's real strong. Es bien rico. You should try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lo que pasa es que aquí no hay. Here we have a lot of Mexican products, but now let me ask you something. So yo creo que solo Car solo Dinita y yo hemos probado ice cream diferente con flavor unusual. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Uh, what about I, I only I only natural natural ice cream. Yes. <laughs> ah, natural ice cream. The regular ones. The regular ones. Okay, lemonade, yeah. coconut, uh, pistacho. Pistacho is really good. Mango, yeah. mandarin. Mango, mandarin. Oh mm. yes, mango. Eee. I love a strawberry. But now let me ask you something. Have you ever eaten something that you didn't like? ¿Han comido algo que no les gustó? La flor yes. de sote. Yes, I, yes. yes, I have. Really? Yes, you have. What did yes. you eat? What did you eat, and, uh, Carlitos? Mora soup. Mora soup? You didn't like it? <laughs> I did. I did. Why not? I can't believe it. <laughs> Why, guys? But well, you don't like it. I don't like it. Maybe, Mora soup, archipelago soup. No. You don't like it? I, maybe the way that they prepare it or what? 
No, no, I don't like it. Because you don't like it. I think mora is really a beer, amarga, right? Yeah. Maybe that's the way that they prepare it because I love it. <laughs> Ese me gusta, eh? Todas las sopas. Yeah. Maybe the way that they prepare it, that could be. Sí. <laughs> eh, Dinita said uh, flor de isote, right? I, I, like, I don't like, I like it. it. Yeah. He likes it. Acá Como que te también. gusta y no te gusta la mora. I don't like it. I don't, I don't get it. hepatotóxica, <laughs> <laughs> teacher. Ah, si la, ah. Si la ocupas mucho, si la comes mucho, yeah. sí, pero si no, no. Pero si una dosis yeah. semana. Es, sí. Ya, no hace daño, right? <laughs> right. I can't believe it. Can yeah. Be. <laughs> eh, so, Dinita, hacer uh, pacaya y eh, flor de isote. Flor de isote, yeah. have you tried it? ¿Cómo la has probado? ¿With eggs? With ¿Scramble eggs? ¿Con huevito? Eggs. Uh, only eggs. Ah, no la has probado en sopa de pollo, right? No. Ni tampoco en rellenos, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. You know what? I had tried in, in, in rellenos. It's really good. As well, pacaya. But Dinita, pacaya, no the big ones, the tender ones, las, las chiquitas, las más tiernitas. Those are really good. No se ven amargo. Okay. And also, I had tried pacaya with a hand soup and sopa de gallina. It's really good. Chufle. Ah, chufle, chufle is really nice. Gallina, yeah. It's really Riquísimo. nice. Yeah. Yes. Eso sí me gusta. You like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And it's really good that we're talking about food, guys, because we're going to see something today. Mm -hmm. Well, what about you, Nuvi? Have you ever tried something that you didn't like? Algo que no te gustó? Yes, the, the crab. Cangrejo. I don't like the You crab. don't like crab? No, really? I can't believe it. You cannot. <laughs> I can't believe it. Really? Well. She didn't like it, right? Like, like Mr. Polanco, he didn't like it, uh, Mora y Chipilín. Can you imagine it? It's not possible, but he doesn't <laughs> like it. He doesn't like it. What about you, Nelsie? Uh, I think that uh, I didn't like it, the mariscada. The mariscada. No. But, yes. the, the, but when you try or you don't like it at all? You are aller no. allergic to the, to the seafood. Are you, are you allergic? Uh huh. But but I I tried to taste a, a mariscada soup, but it was very nice. Ah, so that means that it's not that you're allergic to seafood. Is that that there was a time that you try mariscada and you uh -huh. didn't like that mariscada? Uh huh. Ah, uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I was I was really nervous. Like. <gasps> She doesn't like seafood. No way. <laughs> I I taste taste it and I like it. Oh, oh that's God. great. Yes, it's really good. I love it too. What about you, Bonnie? <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Welcome to the class, Bonnie. Hello, teacher. Bonnie, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We are talking about Bonnie food and food, and we're practicing present perfect questions. So we okay. ask. I asked your classmates. If uh, have they ever tried something that they didn't like? And some of them said eh, chipilín, mora, crab, pacaya, oh, okay. and flor de sote. Uh, what about you, Bunny? I didn't like pacaya, teacher. Pacaya, also like the yeah. Why not? I don't know. Is is very bitter? Bitter, yeah. yes. Amarga? Muy amarga. Yes. Very uh -huh, bitter, yes. yes. Oh, ah, yes. Yes, but the tender ones, las más chiquitas, they're really good. Mm. Well, I like it. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, yeah. No, I didn't like them. Well, something that I don't like. Ah, see, I, you know what I remember, guys, when I was little and literally little, like six years old, the, my father's mama, my grandma from my dad's side, she prepared a really yummy dish and it was really yummy because everybody was like, mm, grandma, this dish was so tasty. We love it, blah, 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 blah. And then when we ask our grandma, what was it exactly? You know, what was it? No saben que era? What's it? Beef brain. Ah. Cerebro. Yeah. Cerebro. Yes. Uh, she prepared delicious. really no, she prepared really good. Yeah. Yes, delicious. But, but once we found out what was it, it was like 
I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, because <laughs> oh, no way. But no, it was delicious. really good. But it was the first and the last time that I had well, tried well, that. I remember it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't know, but all grandmas used to prepare those kind of dishes, you know. We are dishes, by the way. Weird ones. But they were really, it was really good, Carlitos. But mm -mm. I, when they <laughs> when she told me what was it, no way. Liver, liver is is hígado. Yes, I, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> well, uh, when I child, I remember mm -hmm. my, my mother told me yes. uh, I have a, how do you say, it? anemia. Anemia? Anemia, yes, me, me anemia. And the doctor told, told her, your, your my mom? mother, uh -huh. my mom, uh, uh, liver, uh, uh, caldo. Crudo, crudo, no. Crudo, crudo. Uh, no way. Yeah, liver, crudo. Only lemon, uh, liver, in this case. So liver without cooking it, just, yes. just put some lemon yes. on it. Uh, well, yeah, but mm. in this case, uh, I love, I, I like it. The, the liver in this in this form. Next, next to uh, put uh, tomatoes, yes. uh, uh, onions, uh, like delicious, delicious. Like delicious. Oh, no. delicious. Uh, so uh, about fifth, uh, fifteen years, uh, I am 15, I was fifteen years. No more, no more liver, liver. Well, crow. How do you say crudo? Crow? Crudo without huh? cooking. Uh -huh. no, yeah, yeah. I, I, no more, no more eat the eaten the. Really? Uh, yes. So you spent 15 years eating the liver led that way? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Yo hubiera, aunque sea cocido, I, I, pero, I, I, ugh, really? Yeah. No way. Ay, no, no, no. Oh. Wow. I, I, even, I either don't like it. You don't like it? No, me neither. <laughs> what, well. what I don't like is menudos. Menudos. Any kind of menudos. Chicken, chicken men. Yeah, it's because I have never get used to it, to, to eat them. Mm. My mama never, never gave us that when I was mm. little, so I, I, I don't like them. But you know what? <laughs> I remember that my grandma used to tell us that um, back on her ages, there was uh, an old lady that prepares really good patitas ah. chicken hand ah. chicken hand yeah ba yes. balguisadas right and she ah. and she used to have a uh, her spot or her place in a mercado of uh, sagrado corazon i think yes ah. downtown and she said oh my god those were really tenders estaban tan suavecitas but que se le iban así de volada but i have never tried them mm -mm. No, not anymore. <laughs> so guys, we're talking about food and it's really interesting. Why we're talking about food? First of all, because we need to practice, of course, present perfect, but also guys, because this is like uh, the bridge that we're going to use for what we are going to see today. We already have started, but I, I'm going to give you some information <laughs> and I want you guys to help me with this. And we're going to talk about food. And also, guys, um, I want to know uh, if you already know um, about method of cooking. Método de cocción, método de cocina. Mm -hmm. yes. oh. I'm going to share right now with you guys the information. And I want your help. Because this image that I'm going to send, uh, share with you, not only will have the method of cookings, the barrier of method of cooking that we have, but also will have a little square, a little board that will give us the, um, the food and also will let us know options, what kind of method of cooking will be much better for those food, okay? So we'll have on the top, we will have the food and on the left side, we're going to have the method of cooking. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with them. And I'm going to need your help on this. Let me check. Okay, guys, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, yes, we teacher. have 
six methods of cooking. We have bake. What does it mean in a bake, guys? Horno. Hornear. Hornear. Porque horno, Carlitos, es oven. Es oven, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. What about boil? Hervir. Hervir. Very good. What about fry? Fry. Frito. Freír. Freír. What about grill? Grill. Asar. A Asar. 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 Exactly. Asar. Roast. 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 Very good. Asar. And steam? Eh. Al vapor. Al vapor. Y aquí están los famosos dumplings. Mm, mm, mm. All righty. So let, dumplings. Así como Kung Fu Panda, los que se comen Kung Fu Panda. Ah, <laughs> Empanaditas, okay. esos son dumplings. All righty. So let's repeat, guys. Bake. Bake. Boil. 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 Fry. Fry. Real. Real. Roast. Roast. Steam. 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 Miren que bien fast y quiero que pronuncie bien este roast porque ustedes pueden decir roast de rosa, pero es roast. Roast. Al roast. Fin. roast. Ajá. Si no me van a decir roast, roast. y después roast. la voy a decir, where is Jack? ¿Dónde está Jack? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Titanic. Ok, Titanic. guys. So here, can you see we have uh, here, guys, our, we have here our method of cooking, right? And here we have the, um, the food. Guys, what is fish? Pescado. Okay. Yes, what fish. is shrimp? Eh, camarones. 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 Eggs, of course. Huevos. 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 What is that? Pollo. 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 Beef. Carne. Carne. Potatoes. Patatas. Patatas. Onions. Cebollas. Eggplant. Eh, 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 berenjena. 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 En bananas, bananas. Berenjena. Bananas, guys, bananas. pueden ser guineos, pero también pueden ser Plata. plátanos. Plata. Very good. Ok, guys. Entonces, let's practice that. El fish. Can we bake the fish? Fry. Yeah. Okay. Can we boil fry. it? Yeah. Yeah. Can we yeah. fry it? Of course, right? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. of course. Can we, can we grill it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can we roast mm -hmm. it? No. 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 What about steam? No. Yes. 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 In a soup. Aha. Uh -huh. No, in a soup is boiled, pero steam is como el vapor. No, también uh -huh. el vapor. Mm -hmm. sí. What about shrimp, guys? Can we bake it? Bake. Sí, yeah. Yeah. Can yes. we boil it? Yeah, boil sí, it. Sí, en la marisca. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Can yes. we fry it? Yes. 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 Can we grill it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can we roast it? No, there. Nope. No. Can we no. steam it? Yes. 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 <laughs> what about eggs? Can we bake the eggs? Nope. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Tal vez. no, that is fried. <laughs> Can we boil it? Yes. 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 Duros, right? Yes. Hey, we guys, fry? Uh, of course. I, I, I am waiting to check it or look, watch it the uh, food next, how do you say? Food network. A food uh, network. Uh, yeah, because the eggs the is, is in, 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 how do you say, in bake? Uh, you with bake the toast. Eggs? Yeah. Okay, let's hey, put it. Girls, please. Okay, excuse <laughs> me. I'm just asking. You're yeah. giving me the answers. Yeah. What about grill? Can we grill no. it? Nope. All right. Oh, That's no. not possible. What about roast? No. 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 Can we steam it? Yes. No. Yeah. Sí, pero yeah. quedaría yeah. como huevito. ¿Cómo que se llaman esos huevitos? Hay una. Crudos. <laughs> no, kind of crudos. ¿Cómo es que se llama eso? Espérate. Tienen un nombre. Oh, Tibios. Tibios. Thank you. Yes, that's the one. Mm. What about chicken? Bake. Can we bake it? Bake, boil, bake fry. Bake. Yes. Boil, boil, fry, 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 roast, and steam. Oh, so the chicken, we can prepare it in a oh, many yeah. different ways. What about beef? Yes. The uh, same, bake, right? Uh, bake, bake, boil, boil, boil fry, 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 we roast it, no. Grill, oh. roast. Roast? Mm -mm, I don't yeah. think so. Roast? No. 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 Well, what about potatoes? Bake, yes. Bake, 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 bake
Bake. 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 Boil. Boil. Fry. Fry. Grill. Grill too. Roll. Roll. No. Yeah. And what about eggplants? Eggplants. Bake. Yeah. Boil. Bake. Boil. 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 Fry. 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 Grill. Grill too. Grill. 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 Yes. Can we roast it or no? Mm. No. 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 What about no. bananas? Bananas. Bake, bake, fry, bake. Fry, 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 grill, 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 to cook, yes. grill. steam, steam. But we cannot it's roast it, right? Okay. Yes. May I ask you guys? Very good. That means that you can cook. You're a chef. Yes. Let me ask you guys. What's your favorite way to cook or eat the foods? Steam. Steam. Le gusta For, más me el vapor. steam. steam. For me, steam. 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 What about roast? Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What it's about grill? Yes, I yes. like it. Yes. 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 One of the healthiest ways, right? Okay. And what about bake? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. So may I ask you, which one do you use the most to cook? ¿Cuál es el que más usas para preparar los tus alimentos? Para cocinar. Steam? Fried? Grill? ¿Cuál es el que más fried? Fried, what else? I fry. Boil. 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 I use fry. 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 Steam. Boil. Fry, steam. boil. Boil. Bake. Bake. Uh huh. Very good. Now, guys, I'm going to share with you something else. Uh -huh. I'm going to share with you guys a one audio. And I want you to do me a favor. They are going to talk about food and drink in a restaurant. But, but I have. One, two, three, four, five, six conversations or six people talking. And every conversation, we have two options. So I want you guys to help me basically select what is exactly the name or what they are referring about. But this is really tricky. Why is tricky, guys? Because you need to deduct from the conversation. Y quiero decir, van a, eh, van a oír a seis personas hablar de algo en un restaurante, pero no les van a decir de qué están hablando. Ustedes tienen que deducir de qué están hablando basado en lo que ustedes escuchan o entienden de la conversación. ¿Sí? Esto es lo difícil. It's, it's going to be six people, six personas. In each conversation, or por cada conversación, cada persona, we'll have two possible answers. Tenemos dos posibles respuestas. Pero ellos no le van a decir coffee or menu, no. You're going to listen to the conversation, ¿sí? Y ustedes tienen que deducir cuál de las dos opciones ellos estaban hablando. ¿Me entienden? Esto va a ser lo difícil de la listening part, que ellos no le van a decir las palabras. Usted tiene que deducir de acuerdo a lo que usted escuche. Lo vamos a poner two times, nada más, ¿les parece? Así que no se preocupen, Nelson, no se preocupen. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I already sent the information to the WhatsApp. Se los mandé al WhatsApp ahorita. Okay, do you receive it? Yeah? Okay. So now, guys, the first one, if you can see, the first one is going to be water or bread, agua o pan. Number two, a meal or a plate. Una comida o un plato. Un plato me refiero a si es un plato de carne, un platito de pollo. A soup or a pasta. Number four, a coffee or a meat. Number five, cake or coffee. And number six, the check or the menu. ¿Saben qué es el check? Yes, la cuenta. La cuenta, la cuenta o el menú. Muy bien. Entonces, vamos ahorita a ver qué tal. Uh -huh. Let me play it one more time. And then we're going to listen what they're talking about. 18, exercise 5. Listening. Capsule hotels. Part A. Wait a minute, it's not that. Ah. Teacher, ¿y usted por qué se equivocó? No. Ay, teacher, ay, teacher. No. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Por qué usted se equivocó? Let me check. 
Oh, yeah, that's the one that I need. <laughs> este es. Very good. This is the one that I need. Okay. Ya está con el Capsu Hotel, teacher. Sí, eso ya lo vimos. <laughs> we already have seen that, teacher. There you go. Okay, there you go. 23, exercise 5. Listening. Mm -hmm. What are they talking about? Mm -hmm. Listen to six people ask questions about food and drink in a restaurant. Check the item that each person is talking about. One. Have you finished with this? No, I'm still drinking it. Thanks. Two. Did you order this? Yes, that's mine. Mmm, it looks great and smells delicious. Three. Don't you like it? I haven't tasted it yet. I'm waiting for the waitress to bring me a fork. Four. Did you enjoy it? Well, it was a little tough. I think it was cooked for too long. Five. How is it? Great, just the way I like it. Black and strong. Six. Your turn or mine? It's my treat this time. You paid last time, remember? Okay, guys, one more time. Yes. Yes, please. Yes, okay. Yes, please. This is what we're going to do. Each conversation, we're going to put a stop, and then we're going to figure it out what they're talking about, okay? Bye, En cada conversación vamos a poner un alto y vamos a figure it out entre todos de qué están hablando. Page 23, exercise 5, listening. What are they talking about? Listen to six people ask questions about food and drink in a restaurant. Check the item that each person is talking about. One. Have you finished with this? No, I'm still drinking it. Okay. Is water. This, have you finished water. with this? Still drinking water. water. Very good. Water. water. Number two. Water. Thanks. Two. Did you order this? Yes, that's mine. Mmm, it looks great and smells delicious. What they're talking about? A, a meal plate. or a plate? A meal. A plate. 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 Sí. Okay, so did you order it? Ordenaste okay. la comida? Uh-huh, yeah. Number three. Three. Don't you like it? I haven't tasted it yet. I'm waiting for the waitress to bring me a fork. I'm waiting for the waitress to give me a fork. Estoy esperando que la mesera me traiga un tenedor. Tenedor. So it's pasta. So Very good. Number four. Four. Did you enjoy it? Well, uh -huh. it was a little tough. I think it was cooked for too long. Did you enjoy it? Number four. It was a little tough. I think it was cooked for too long. ¿Estamos hablando meat. de un café o de meat? Meat. Very meat. good. Meat. 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 Yes. Number five. Five. How is it? Great. Just the way I like it. Black and strong. Uh, what is the number Coffee. five? Coffee. 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 Just the way I like it. Black and strong. That's strong. Right. Very good. Number six. Six. Your turn or mine? It's my treat this time. You paid last time, remember? So? The check. check. The check. How we know? You paid last time, to say. Huh? The check. Uh -huh. Muy bien. La yes. cuenta. Perfecto. Very good, guys. So you see, this class is everything related to food, but for a good reason. Aha. Uh -huh. let, me, let me ask you something. Um... Have you, you, do you know what was, uh, well, first of all, you know who was Elvis Presley? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. he was a singer, right? Yeah. Yes. He was from Hawaii. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Elvis Presley had a favorite sandwich. It, it is really interesting how they prepare it, you know? ¿Saben, ¿Saben que tenía un sándwich muy en particular que le encantaba mucho? 
Sí. Vamos a averiguar cuál era el, el sándwich favorito de Elvis Presley hoy. Y nos va a ayudar muchísimo porque basado en eso, vamos a ver algo que van a usar ustedes para el lunes. ¿Les parece? Sí. Yes, y mi dimita que está comiendo ahorita, sé que también. Very good. Let me see really sí. quickly. Una yes, una preguntita. Yes, Nubi. Eh, el, el lunes es la última clase. Así que un mensaje. El 20, yes. Oh, no conocí. I'm gonna be really sad, pero ni modo, ¿y qué vamos a hacer? Pues, ay, ay, ay. Very good, guys. Muy bien. Okay, I'm gonna share right now with you really quickly. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay, guys, can you see it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Miren cuál es el sándwich favorito de Mr. Elvis Presley? Peanut butter and banana. Peanut butter. Un sándwich de, de uh, banana con, mm, no, de, con, maní. Con, con, man, con, mande, con crema de maní. De maní. Crema de maní. Muy bien. Oh. Very good. Eh, Carlitos, ¿me podrías ayudar a leer los ingredientes? This part. Yes. Uh -huh. three, three tablespoons. Peanut Peanut butter. butter. Peanut butter. Peanut Pe butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Very good. Uh -huh. One banana. Mash mm -hmm. two slices of the bread, mm -hmm. two tablespoons butter, melt. Muy bien, very good. Guys, ¿saben qué son tablespoons? Tablespoon. Sí. Mm -hmm. Tablespoons, guys, son lo que uno conoce ¿Cucharadas? como cucharada. Mm -hmm. Sí, uh -huh. cucharaditas son teaspoons. ¿Sí? Teaspoons. Teaspoons, porque lo usamos para el té. O se llama teaspoons, pero tablespoons son cucharadas soperas, por decir así. Ah. Ajá. Mash, ¿saben qué es mash? Es machacado, machacado. Ah. Así como hecho puré. Mash. Ajá. Mash. ¿Saben qué son slices? Rodajas. 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 Muy bien. Very good. ¿Y saben qué es melted? No. Es claro. No, derretido. Oh. Okay. Melted, derretido. Melted. Ajá. Entonces ustedes se fijan. Mixer. Ajá. Mixer es mezclado. Very good. Uh -huh. Para cada, para cada receta, si tú te fijas, lo primero que ponen son los ingredients, ¿verdad? Yep. Muy bien. Ahora, si ustedes se fijan aquí, en esta parte, on the right side, vamos a ver First. la preparation. Uh -huh. Exacto. Entonces quiero ver quién me ayuda. Dinita, ¿me puedes ayudar leyendo el primer párrafo? Ok. First. Mix the peanut butter and mash up banana together. Then lightly toast the slice of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mix, mixture, mixture on the toast. Very good. Then continue with that. Uh, Nuvi, the second paragraph. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. Finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. On both sizes. Right. Oh, very good. Si ustedes se fijan, ven algo que dice first, después ven then, next, ¿verdad? Y después ven after that, and finally, ¿verdad que sí? ¿Saben yes. cómo se llaman estos? Um, ¿Cómo se llaman? La preparación. Sí, that's the preparation. Secuencia. Exacto. Secuencia. Eso se, se llama lo que se conoce, adverbio chico. Adverbio de frecuencia. No, adverbio de secuencia. Frecuencia. Sequence adverbs, ¿sí? Y sequence más que adverse. todo lo utilizamos en este caso, lo utilizamos para varias cosas. Por ejemplo, chicos, cuando ustedes, si tienen a cargo a alguien, por ejemplo, en su trabajo, o les piden que colaboren con algo, les, les dicen las instrucciones, ¿no es cierto? Yes. Entonces, aunque aquí lo estamos viendo de, en el caso de la cocina, pero también los sequence albers se utilizan para cuando uno le da instrucciones de paso a paso. Por ejemplo, cuando usted compra una refri nueva, cuando usted compró un televisor, cuando usted compró una, 
washing machine o lo que sea, ¿verdad? Que venía con un manual de instrucción. Ya. Yeah. Yes. Entonces, si, si usted se fija, le dice, first, y le dicen, ¿verdad? Second, y ahí mm. le van dando paso a pasito, ¿no es cierto? Pues en este caso, la mayoría de veces lo pone con números, pero en este caso vamos a ver lo que son sequence adverbs y lo vamos a dirigir en el caso de cómo dar instrucciones para preparar algo. Pero al, miren, en este caso, para preparar el plato favorito o el sándwich favorito de Mr. Elvis Presley, que es peanut butter and banana. Pero quiero que repitamos algo algunas palabras para poder pronunciarlas mejor. Repeat after me, guys. Mashed. 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 Lightly. 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 Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Melted butter. Melted butter. Both sizes. Both, both, both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Both sides. No, no both, porque si ustedes dicen both, están diciendo both. 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 Quiero que cuando ustedes dicen both, both. both sides. Uh -huh, both. quiero que saquen la lengüita, pero que la lengüita como que la, la enrollen un poquito both. Y, both. y sientan que se les sale como un airecito. Both. 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 Very both. good. Eh, ahí both. estamos. Both. Okay. both. Okay. Very good. Guys, entonces, viendo que ya vimos, ¿cuáles son los sequence of adverbs? First. First. Then. Then. then next, next, next. After, after that, that. After that. that. And finally. 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 ¿Cómo se, chicos? Aquí son algunos. Hay más. Pero ahorita solamente vamos a ver estos. Entonces, basado en eso, quiero que me ayuden a completar el paso a paso de estas pictures. Si ustedes se fijan, están en desorden. Quiero que me ayuden a ponerlas por orden. ¿Cuál sería, por ejemplo, la primera? Miren lo que dice. Mix the peanut butter and mash banana together. ¿Cuál sería la primera? One, two, three, four, four five. Four. 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 Muy bien. Four. ¿Cuál sería la segunda? Then. Then. ¿Por qué quiero que hagan esto? Vean que es bien fácil. Yeah, no. yeah. Yeah. Porque fíjense que me van a dar una receta el lunes. What? Uh, ya se puso suéter, Mr. Carlitos Ponce. Uh, yeah. Um, You're yeah. freezing. Tienes frío. Yes. Ok. Chicos, entonces, ¿cuáles fueron los sequences of Albers? First. First, then, next, first, then, next, next, next after, next, that, after, after that, 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 finally, finally. finally. Quiero que vean una receta. Si ustedes quieren hacerla en frente, vivo y a todo color, good. That's good. <risa> sí, si <risa> quieren. Y si <risa> no, pueden, eh, pueden este, hacer como pictures, ¿sí? O simplemente pueden presentar ya el platillo hecho. Y nos dicen a nosotros cómo lo hicieron. ¿Qué pueden hacer? Tienen tres opciones. Presentarlo, ya hecho, show pictures, o hacerlo en el momento. Either or. No importa. Sí, y si ustedes están haciendo la comida cuando, cuando empecemos la clase, that's good, mejor. Está mal vivo. Ok, this is what I want. Vaya, chicos. Puede okay. ser any, any sincere, algo sencillo, easy. Carlitos, puede ser conflict con leche. Could be a scramble eggs. Could be a spaghetti if you want, right? Could be a sandwich. Yeah. Pero quiero, no quiero que lo vayan a comprar al China Walk o al Panda o, o al Burger King, right? No. Quiero que lo hagan ustedes. Carlitos, maybe you are not a chef. Tal vez no seas un chef. Pero algo podrás hacer o no. Yes. Vaya. Si puedes hacer un, si puedes hacer huevitos revueltos, ¿Cómo los haces tú? Step by step, right? 
Si usted no, puede hacer chévere. una buena taza de café, how you prepare it, ¿sí? ¿Me entiende? Si no, no, vi... my, no teacher, my problem is that I love uh, cooking. Ah, uh, vaya, entonces no es un problema, yes. es una ventaja. No, no, because in this moment my mind... No, say... por eso le digo, por eso le digo yes. que hasta el lunes, porque tiene todo el fin yes. de semana para pensar. Am I flying? Chicken, chicken with vegetables. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh, me, oh, my God. God. He's getting expired. He's getting expired. He's getting expired. Or, 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 say, yeah. Mariscada. Uh, Mariscada. Much better. Ooh. <laughs> Lobster with garlic. I don't know. You invent yeah. yourself. <laughs> Muy bien. Si Nubi no quiere hacer una lasaña, that's great. That's fantastic. No importa. O si usted no quiere decir eh, eh, la, cómo le hace la comidita a la mascota, también it's fine. <laughs> no worry. As long guys, as you use the sequence adverbs, for me it's fine. See? Yo quiero que me usen los sequence albert. Mm -hmm. Esto se fija bien fácil. It's not complicated, no, no. no es complicado, ¿sí? Entonces, eso es lo que quiero para el lunes. ¿Qué les parece? Chivo, ¿verdad? Ay, teacher. What, Nelsie? <laughs> okay. For the Monday, the homework is to do uh, a recipe. Uh, res food. Uh -huh. A recipe, yes. Si tienes mm -hmm. que, tienes, pero eso sí, no quiero trampas. ¿Qué significa? Que lo tienen que ensayar bien porque no me van a tener un papelito diciendo First, Nel. No, tiene que ser así, ve, face to face. Pictures. Vaya, no importa, pancakes, está bien. Co com combine mix and uh, whether I'll mix both. First. This mix. <laughs> Ajá, sí, lo tienes, lo tienes pegado ahí al monitor, that's fine. <laughs> Pero si se te olvida usar los adverbs of frequencies, it's going to be wrong. Oh. Nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> vale, pues, hey chicos, you see, it's really interesting, right? We were talking about food, the way of cooking, things that we like, things that we didn't taste, that we haven't tasted, or we have tasted and we didn't like it. That's good, you see, we put in practice everything that we have seen so far. Entonces, chicos, ya es hora de irnos, fíjense. Qué rápido, yeah. ¿verdad? Qué rápido. Yeah. Time passed really fast. Entonces, I will be so happy. Fíjense que si hubiéramos estado... Face to face, hubiéramos hecho un picnic, fíjense. Uh -huh. Sí, y todos hubiéramos traído como nuestra comida y todos hubiéramos hecho como un buffet en clase. Yeah. Lastimosamente no se puede. Así que yo creo que voy a comer antes Muy el lunes porque si no me van a dejar ustedes con un hambre horrible. <risa> <risa> ok, guys. Carlito Chef. Ajá, Carlito Chef. Ok, Carlitos, espero que traigas algo rico, ¿eh? Ok, hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night and amazing Bye. weekend. Bye-bye. Have a nice night.